Still developing in Worcester at this hour, a man is dead following a shootout with police. The Tuesday night confrontation spilled over into early Wednesday morning, ending in a busy intersection with houses nearby. Western Mass News reporter Audrey Russo has obtained video of the confrontation. She joins us live now in Worcester with those details. Audrey. Right around this corner, there's a residential neighborhood, and right here at the base of the intersection is where police say a 31-year-old man threatened to detonate a bomb during a confrontation with officers. We do have video, but we want to warn you, it may be graphic to watch. Police officers confronting 31-year-old Fett Govan Vong in the middle of a Worcester intersection in this video obtained by Western Mass News. Officials say Govan Vong threatened Tuesday night around 1040 that he had a bomb that would detonate. The Worcester County District Attorney says when police arrived at Grafton Street, the suspect appeared heavily armed. He had what appeared to be an assault rifle, body armor, a backpack, and an explosive device. DA Joseph Early Jr. says police attempted to negotiate with Govan Vong for more than an hour. The man appeared to get more and more agitated. Early then said Govan Vong made furtive movements towards police. He didn't go into detail, but the term is generally used to describe actions that raise police suspicion. And just after midnight... He was pronounced dead at the scene. Officials would not confirm whether or not there was actually a live bomb, only what officers were told by the suspect himself. He was telling us that he, this bomb could and would go off. Worcester Police Lieutenant Sean Murtha says they do not believe Govan Vong fired his long gun or handgun, but because it's early in the investigation, they're asking for the public's help. We'd like to ask anyone who has cell phone video of the incident to please come forward. Police say that the officer who fired their weapon has been placed on administrative leave per the Worcester Police Department's policy on police-involved shootings. Now, coming up on Western Mass News at 6, we'll hear from the witness who shot that video on her phone. She describes the fear she was feeling as she was recording with her cell phone. But for now, I'm live in Worcester. Audrey Brousseau for Western Mass News.